in one of the deadliest attacks in Moscow. Over 100 people were killed and over 145 injured after the gunmen opened the fire at the concert hall. The fire started with huge plumes of black smoke rising over the buildings, which can hold several thousand people and has hosted top international artists. Russian authorities now focus on providing help to the people. Meanwhile, 11 people suspected of carrying out the attacks have been detained even as the search for others who are believed to be at large continue. The governor of the Moscow region, Andrei Vorobyov, described the Friday's concert hall attack as a tragedy. He said that an operational headquarters has been set up. This is a tragedy. The burning area is very obvious. Firefighters are working hard on site. Further information will be released once the firefighters conclude their work. Investigators found weapons and other evidence after camouflage clad gunmen opened fire at concert goers near Moscow on Friday. The Russian investigative committee released footage of a rifle lying on the ground and staff examining spare gun magazines and spent bullet casings at the 6,200-seat Crocus City Hall in Krasnogorsk, where the attack occurred. And DD India correspondent Dasha Chernyshova joins us live from Moscow for more details. Dasha, there have been around 11 suspects detained so far in one of the deadliest attacks there in Moscow. And we can see the visuals here on the screens. They're scary. What is the current situation in the Russian capital and what are the authorities saying? Well, the security situation has been relatively calm here around Kwago City Hall after the fire has been taken under control. That allowed the recovery teams to get inside Kwago City Hall. And this is when they started to recover the bodies of the people who were trapped inside. Uh, some of them are believed to have been hiding from the gunmen and they later on died in the uh, rooms that are normally reserved for the staff as well as in the WC. So the dust toll has rapidly increased to 115. And the governor of the Moscow region, Alexei Varavyov, said that this will be rising quickly, certainly as the recovery effort is ongoing. They are recovering more bodies under the rubble. Now, speaking of the situation in terms of the investigation, the Russian authorities say they have found and detained 11 people who are believed to have been involved into this act of terrorism. Four of them have been directly involved. Uh, they are said to have been uh, present at the time of the uh, shooting. We uh, have seen some videos released by social media, including some state-run social media, suggesting that one of the men has been interrogated and said he was forced to kill people in exchange for money. The authenticity of this video is yet to be established, but it is believed that the uh, that the uh, terrorists have tried to escape by taking a Renault car and driving all the way from the Krokus City Hall here in Moscow to the border with Ukraine in the Bransk region where FSB says they have wanted to cross it and to get to Ukraine. They say that these perpetrators had contacts on the Ukrainian side. Again, the investigation is ongoing. We're waiting for more details because obviously there are many questions among the Russian public, including as to how the terrorists managed to uh, get to the border with Bransk, to the border with Ukraine, to the Bransk region so quickly. All right, Dasha. Uh we have heard that all the events lined up in the nearby areas uh, where the attack took place have been cancelled. Could you verify that and uh, updates on the purpose of this deadly attack? Any statement from the intelligence agencies or senior officials for that matter? I can't hear you, Dasha. I can hear you. Okay, you, you may continue, Dasha. Can you hear me? Yes. 
Yes, uh, so we haven't heard much from the Kremlin on the uh, on their reaction to what has happened, aside from the fact that the Russian president is updated on the course of the investigation by the heads of the uh, the Russian ministries. Now, we also understand that the public events have been cancelled in the Russian capital, mm. uh, all the sports events, all the entertainment events. This is because of security measures, but also as Russians do seem to be mourning the death of so many people in the Russian capital. The same situation in many other uh, regions across Russia, but obviously security situation at the moment is paramount and we understand that at the airports as well as at the rail uh, road stations, the security checks have intensified. And also on the metro, we understand that the security has been scrutinized as well. All right, we leave it there and we'll keep picking updates from you, Dasha, on the scene. Thank you so much for joining in and thanks for your analysis. Now, world leaders expressed shock and extended condolences to victims of shooting near Moscow in Russia. Condemning the attack, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi said India stands in solidarity with the government and the people of the Russian UN chief leaders from EU, Turkey and other world leaders too extended messages of solidarity with people of Russia in this hour of grief. Attack near Moscow at concert goers on Friday brought back the memory of 2004 Beslan school siege. The five gunmen dressed in a camouflage on Friday opened fire with automatic weapons at people at a concert in the Crocus City Hall near Moscow. Kremlin said Russian President Vladimir Putin was updated on the concert attack by FSB director. Putin wished a speedy recovery to those injured in the attack. Soon, global condemnation and messages of solidarity poured in. UN chief, United States and India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi, among others, condemned the attack and sent their condolences. The images are just horrible um, and uh, just hard to watch. And our thoughts, obviously, are going to be with the, the victims of this terrible, terrible shooting attack. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi in his social media post on X said that we strongly condemn the heinous attack in Moscow. Our thoughts and prayers are with the families of the victims. India stands in solidarity with the government and the people of the Russian Federation in this hour of grief. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres condemned in the strongest possible terms. According to a statement attributable to Deputy Spokesperson Farhan Hug, the UN Secretary General said the Secretary General conveys his deep condolences to the bereaved families and the people of the government of the Russian Federation. He wishes those injured a speedy recovery. European Union spokesman Peter Stano in a statement posted on X said that EU is shocked and appalled by the reports of a terrorist attack in the Crocker City Hall in Moscow. The EU condemns any attacks against civilians. Our thoughts are with all those Russian citizens affected. Condemning the attack, French President Emmanuel Macron said in the statement that France stands in solidarity with the victims of the shooting. While German Foreign Office said that the images of the terrible attack on innocent people in Crocker City Hall near Moscow are horrific. The background must be investigated quickly. Our deepest condolences with the families of the victims. Following the attack, all entertainment and mass events were cancelled in Russia. A billboard near concert hall read a message, We grieve. Following the attack, firefighters had to battle a massive blaze as flames leaped into the sky and plumes of black smoke rise, rose above the venue. The emergency services evacuated hundreds of people while parts of the venue's roof collapsed. Islamic State has claimed the responsibility for the attack. Bureau report, DD India. Moving on to the updates from Russia-Ukraine.